This video is brought to you by Zarkin Productions, an umbrella group composed of over 10 shows, and an archive of over 5,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics. Please go to zarkin.com for a complete listing of video links, social media feeds, and opportunities to support our content. Thank you for your time, and may I present another Zarkin production. Welcome to the ZOC. I'm your host, Andrew Carpenter, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Avantri 164-foot long-range Bluetooth transmitter for TV audio, wireless transmitter and receiver, aptics, low latency, support digital optical, RCA aux, for any audio devices, Oasis, with two-year warranty. Uh, this device is long range, utilizing Class 1 Bluetooth technology and an optimized antenna design. The Advantry Oasis can achieve a range of up to 164 feet or 50 meters line of sight in open air and up to 50 to 70 feet, 20 to 30 meters indoors. Use two Oasis as a transmitter and receiver set to extend the range even further. Audio Hub for Home Entertainment. Use the Avantri Oasis as a Bluetooth transmitter to Bluetooth enable your TV, AV receiver, radio, and other home audio source devices to stream music to your Bluetooth headphones or speakers. Or use it as a Bluetooth receiver to Bluetooth enable your home stereo or AV receiver and wirelessly stream music from your cell phone or PC. You can also use it as a pass-through hub when you prefer to use your conventional wired connections. AUX M Optical Connections supports both analog RCA slash 3.5 millimeter AUX audio and digital optical input and output. No lip sync delay. Experience your media at its best. Thanks to aptX low latency, making the Oasis the ideal tool for watching movies and playing video games. Down here they have some bullet points. Oasis TC500 Bluetooth Long Range Home Audio Hub. Transmitter, Receiver, Bypass 3-in-1. So you have a transmitter for TV, Bypass. If your TV and stereo are close to each other, connect Oasis in between. A simple switch enables you to choose between wired and wireless modes. It's right there on the side, so bypass and Bluetooth. Uh, receiver for speakers. So you have that too. Watching TV with no lip sync delay. Connects to Aptex low latency supported devices. Best choice to purchase of entry Torpedo Plus or Edition Pro. So they have devices specifically designed for the Oasis. So you can use those. Or whatever Bluetooth device you have. Long range, up to 50 meters slash 164 feet when working with class 1 devices extend streaming audio from downstairs to upstairs indoors to outdoors dual link uh, you can connect two headphones so two people can enjoy it at the same time share audio with others without disturbing other family members more audio connection options especially important aux cable optical cable rca cable all kinds of cables. Voice prompt connected, ready to use. So it speaks to you, letting you know what it's doing. Back up here, we have a close up picture of the device. Really nicely designed. Has a bunch of information on the front of it. There's the switch on the side. Very important for the bypass. Here they have uh, another description of the various modes you can use it in. Transmitter, bypass, and receiver. No lip sync delay. So it doesn't look like everything you watch is dubbed. Multipoint, they already went into that. 
range extension. Here's here's the most important picture. So you can see what the back of the device looks like. So there's your current in, the DC in, and the various ins and outs of aux and optical. But enough about the Amazon posting. Let's have a look at the real thing. So here we have the box. Uh, this is the Avantry for a better experience. Oasis. Wireless audio transmitter and receiver. Two in one. Long range. No lip sync delay. Optical bypass facility. And voice prompt support. So Qualcomm aptX low latency. TX RX 2 in 1, 50 meter range. Uh, register for warranty, always a good thing to do. Uh, it's more bullet points, same thing. Bullet points again in different languages. And same thing. So let's get this thing open. That is very tight in the box. There we go. Okay. As usual, we got some tape here. Okay. Whew. <laughs> Just want to let you get in. All right, so here we go. Here's the instructions card. Uh, you might want to leave that clipped onto the event tray just in case. Uh, but it's very well packed. This foam. So here's the device itself. And there's its adapter right there. So it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Let me get this off. So there it is. Video user guide. You can search Avantry Oasis on YouTube. And also telephone support. Refer to Avantry.com slash contact dash US. Has a non-slip bottom. Here's the switch on the side. Off, bypass, and Bluetooth. Again, there's the DC in, aux, optical, optical, another aux again. So you do have multiple ways of connecting this. Let's put this to the side. And here's the AC adapter. Uh, it says right on here, no need to use this if TV has USB slot. Simply connect USB cable to TV USB for power. Uh, my TV does have a USB slot that I can do that with, but i rather just use this. makes it easier to keep track of this. Plus, this will be uh, in a significantly a little bit distant away from my TV's USB slot. So, best to use that anyway. Alright, now for cables. Here is your aux cable. Here is the power cable, which goes to uh, USB plug-in, so you definitely want to keep track of that. Uh, here is the RCA cables, so you can plug into that. Uh, also, of course, you can use this with the aux cable, so you can plug that into there, give an extension, and here is the optical cable. Now, I've never used an optical cable, but it's good to have this as an option uh, because my TV does have an optical out. Uh, I'm going to be using this as a pass-through uh, for the stereo system we already have um, because, one, that's the easiest way to set it up, and two, that's how I wanted to set it up when I bought this device. But it's good to have, it's good to have multiple options just in case you, you need them down the road, so that's great. Uh, what else do we get? We have uh, the warranty contra contact info and fans reward. 
So there's that. You have a QR code. Scan me for warranty registration. So that makes it really easy. Of course, this is the user manual itself. And the last item we have in here is the quick user guide, which is always nice. So you can set things up pretty quickly. In fact, it has diagrams for different setups, status indicators, so on and so forth. Uh, you might even want to keep this one around with the advantry after you get set up. Just you know, like set it on top of it or whatever. So this is what you get in the box. Get a bunch of informational documents and some cables. So this is awesome, but of course it'll be even more awesome when I have it set up. So let's cut to that. All right, I have the unit set up and I have a safe video queued up for safe testing. So let's take a look at the setup. Now first off, I have a female aux cable headed off of the back of the TV so that I can easily switch out any kind of audio output I want whether it be speakers or the unit itself or whatever I don't have to pull out the TV anymore because I have this female aux cable that I can plug anything I want into but what it is plugged into is of course the back of this so what we have here is the charger cable right there uh, we have the cable leading out to the speakers and we, and we have the aux cable headed in into here so it's very easy to get everything hooked up now, at the moment it's in bypass mode you have three modes here bypass off and Bluetooth it's presently set on bypass mode that is the easiest mode to set up what you have in that mode is essentially the audio goes from the TV up to the unit through the unit and then to the speaker system and This video is brought to you by Zarko Productions, an umbrella group composed of over 10 shows and an archive of over 5,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics. Please go to Zarko.com so, for a listing of video links, social media. Pause that for now. The other setting you have, of course, is off shouldn't have to explain Power off. shouldn't have to explain what that is and yes it does have a voice so it tells you what you've done so I turned it off it said off if I flick it back into bypass power on bypass mode please ensure the correct input output mode is set we have two output modes uh, you have You have aux and optical. I'm not using optical, I'm using aux. But switching it is very easy. So you can do... Optical mode. Please ensure optical cable is connected. So, pretty cool. Auxiliary mode. Please ensure auxiliary cable is connected. Alright, so... At the moment, it has bypass mode indicated right there. So this doesn't do anything. Uh, these are your volume buttons. Uh, you can use those if you like, or just turn it up to maximum and leave it that way. Most likely you'll be controlling your volume via the TV's controller anyway, but it does exist, so you can push that, or push this one, lower it down, or up, however you want. And of course, the real reason why you got this is not for bypass mode, but for Bluetooth mode, which is right there. 
So when you want to go into Bluetooth, you switch it over to Pow Power on Bluetooth transmitter pairing mode. Please put your device into pairing mode and wait. Now that's in transmit mode right there. There's an, the other mode selector is on this side where you choose between uh, transmit and receive. So if it's receiving, you want to switch Power to on. Bluetooth receiving. Pairing mode. Please search for Avantri Oasis from your device and connect. So pretty straightforward. Uh, we're not going to be using receiving mode, of course, because we want this to broadcast a sound signal to be picked up by wireless headsets. So we're going to switch this back into transmit mode. Power on. Bluetooth transmitter. Pairing mode. Please put your device into pairing mode and wait. Set that back down. I'll go get my Bluetooth headset. This test, I'll be using my Bluetio headset, a very reliable headset that I've had for quite some time. I use it daily when I'm on the treadmill or whenever I need to be away from the computer and need audio to still be transmitted to me so I can hear it. So we're going to be using this. Connecting to this device is very easy. All you have to do is put it into pairing mode. Uh, and then it'll search for any device looking for a Bluetooth connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the device in pairing mode and then turn my Bluetio headset on. And it's that easy. So let me demonstrate. Alright, so I'm connected to it. It was that easy. Didn't have to type in any codes, didn't have to punch a series of buttons, nothing. I'm connected. And you can't hear it, because it's coming through my headset. But I can hear it and it's awesome. So what this means is that I can take this jack the volume up and watch movies any day, any time, any time I want to and I'm not waking up anybody else in the house or disturbing the work of anybody else in the house because it's on my headset and it's that easy and when I'm done with Bluetooth mode it's as easy as reaching up here and switching it into bypass again Power. So, uh, this is an excellent product. Uh, if you have any kind of TV or any device that you work with audio, you want this. You want this. This is so easy to set up. I did not look at this even once. And it's that easy to set up. Did not read this. That is an excellent design when you can set up something like this without having to read any user manuals. So it's super easy to set up. It works great. Uh, the range on it is superb. I've wandered all over the house and into the yard and it picks up. The audio is very clear and it's perfect. It's perfect for my needs. 
Now, I or anyone else can watch stuff on this TV and not have the audio disturb anyone else. So, buy one today. This is a great product. I fully recommend this. This is totally awesome.